All right, we made it back down here again. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna hunt this beach. Look at those waves look good though. Look at them. Wow. Huh. But there's a beach right next door I might go hunt. So um, we'll, we'll check this one out. Doesn't look very good. Looks all pretty much sanded in completely. I came here because there's a river that comes out over there and uh, sometimes it'll cut through the beach. Right now, no, nah, it just looks completely sanded in. The whole beach. So, at least we'll be down here. I'll post the video if I don't find anything. Or if I do find something. You guys will see this video. <laughs> Let's get to it. The guy over there. Uh. <laughs> All right, here's that river I was talking about. And it had just rained the other day, so I was hoping it would be, have flowed enough to break through to the ocean. I bet it didn't. I noticed, I was watching a surfing video the other day, and uh, I guess what they did is they, uh, they broke it open right here. And when the water runs down to the ocean, it creates like a, a ri river wave, they call it. And uh, then they ride that. <laughs> One of the skimboarders went skimming across. It was pretty cool. Anyways, there's a nice cut over there. So I'm going to go ahead and try over there. Let's take a look down here real quick. Yeah. So I'm glad I came over here first. I just decided, what the heck, might as well. The skimboarders love this beach. Yeah, it's a little cut over there. Not that great. I might even try the dry sand up there on that plateau. But let's get at it, see if we can get anything. This is my first signal. It's a pretty crummy one. But let's see what we got. And a piece of something. There we go, we got something. Yeah, I still haven't got a hold of the person who won the old coins last video. See if this guy takes this wave. Nope, he's not gonna take it. All right, we got a sound here. Uh, I'm on this cut, and the wall had caved in here. And look, what do we got? 21, 24. Let's just see where she is. Hope it's not a can. <laughs> the reason I say that because it's so deep. I think I felt something, dang it. Solid 21. And we got it in the scoop. Let's see what it is. I think I feel something scraping. Huh. What is that? Copper or not sure what that is. It's got a hole up here. I mean it could have been some kind of piece of jewelry. I doubt it. <laughs> Let's keep going. Here's where I'm at. The river's right there. I got some skimboarders. <laughs> and we're working this cut here. The camera's a little high, but right in here we're going to work this cut. So we are definitely not getting very many signals. Uh, 
problem with this beach is the sand just gets so turned over and turned over and turned over. Everything goes really deep. So you're kind of looking for fresh drops. So here's a 12. 13. Oh, I don't want to get my coil wet yet. <laughs> Once you get it wet and then you go in the dry, it gets heavy. Oh, great. That means this is probably something small. Well, could be something good. <laughs> All right, I don't see any gold. Let's see what it is. Nice crystal. Piece of aluminum, maybe? Yeah, I think it's just aluminum. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, there's no signals down here. I've been working over there is where I got that one thing. Uh, so yeah, I'm just working down my way down this way. I see another cut down there, and uh, I'm working along the cut and along the water line right now until I get to that other cut. Then I'm going to work the dry. Whoa, that was cold. <laughs> This just looks like a great spot for fishing. There's like a channel right in here. There's rocks on this side, rocks on that side. And it looks like it's, you can see the bottom. And then right on this side would be good too for fishing. But anyways. Might have our first coin. First penny. I don't know, wait till these waves stop. I think that's the last one right there. Alright, let's see. It is a penny. So we got our first coin. Ooh, it's a fresh drop too. That's brand new. All right, let's keep going. Well, I found a nice spot to stop and take a rest, have a drink of water. And on the, underneath this bamboo, there's a little, little hut in here. Hey, you can go inside there. I'll go ahead and scan in there. Also, there's one in here. See the little door? I wonder if homeless people sleep in there. Huh. Anyways. Let's take a little swing at it right now while you guys are on. Sure enough, there's something in there. But it's probably like a can or something. And am I gonna be able to dig it? <laughs> oh jeez. I think it's just a can. I'm gonna ruin the hut. Uh. Yeah, I think it's a can, I felt it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna do it. Well, I've gone this far. <laughs> that might have been roots that I was feeling, who knows. Yeah, let's, let's leave that, whatever it is. We're gonna leave it there. Solid eight. 
eight could be a good number. Huh. It's gotta be in the scoop. I think it might be this little piece of something. Let's see here. No, that's not it. I think we lost it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Rusty bottle cap, of course. Anyway, that might be how today goes. We'll see. If I follow these shoe prints, it looks like somebody was trying to climb up in the trees here. Oh yeah, there's like a little tunnel right there. Huh. A little secret fort in there, I bet. All right, we got a little sound here. 1920, 21. Might be a couple sounds here. Or not. Yeah, I got a penny. That's good. Anything is good at this point. Because I have a feeling this beach really gets hit hard by a lot of detectors. One guy, I remember he used to hit this beach every day. And he probably still does. Uh, not this part of the beach, but... He's just got to keep going. You never know what can you can find. Alright, here's a sound. Like 24, 25. Should be a dime, but... I've had pennies ring up like that. And it is a penny. Huh. It's an older one. 70s, I think. Because I'm right here by the steps. That's actually a walkway. Alright, I know we're doing a bunch of sightseeing today. <laughs> I haven't been down here in a while. and uh, I had to come down here. It's been a while. Actually, these beaches I found stuff. One's right across here. But I'd have to get wet to get to them. And I'm not going to do that today. Or go for a long walk. Uh, there's another beach over there I'd found jewelry on. But this beach that I'm on right now, back through this tunnel here, is... I've never really found anything good. Not even good change. But I'm going to go ahead and leave my detector here. Go for a little walk. Leave it on even. Do a little sightseeing. We never get to look around. We're just searching for that gold ring, you know? <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. Through here, yep. Oh, I can make it today. I can just walk right up here and go across there. Usually this is all flooded in. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember this now. It's right over there. It's like if you walked in right off the beach, you would just be in snorkeling paradise. I mean, just like the water is like green, clear. Just really, really awesome. There's a girl sitting over there. And I actually learned something today. Uh, you know how those sea anemones, they're, they're like, they got these little tentacles. Well, at low tide, all the shells get stuck to them. And that's, I always thought, you know, all oh, those poor things, they got the shells stuck all over them. But no, it actually protects them from the sun. And, it helps keep their moisture in uh, so they won't dry out and die during low tide. 
So I learned something new today. See, right down where I'm at, there probably would be sea anemones. Um, but this gets, this is a very touristy spot. And um, yeah, like these pools here, they would probably have some. But down over here, now that, these pools do have stuff in them. Mussels and all kinds of stuff. I've been watching a lot of videos on these guys. They go down to do catching cooks and they'll come down to these these areas here and grab some mussels, uh, some sea urchins, and they'll go and they'll eat all that stuff. Maybe some crabs, something. So whatever they can find that's edible. And they eat it. There's a girl down here today trying to save all the animals. Tra teaching people like what to do and what not to do. How to safely look at them, you know. You don't have to touch them. That kind of thing. But yeah. Pretty cool looking. Anyways, this would be a good spot for fishing. <laughs> right off these rocks here. Imagine that. Let's see if this wave hits it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want to go on those rocks. But somewhere around here. Maybe right up there. So let's get back to metal detecting. I'm going to walk my way all the way back down this beach here. Uh, see if we get anything. If not... I don't know what to say. Should be low enough tide by the time I get back there to search that spot really well. So I didn't search it well, I just came straight down here. And that's where all the people are down there. This is where the rich people are though. So, let's get back at it. Back through the tunnel. Okay, I think we're on to something. Twenty-seven. Right on the rocks. Oh good, I got it. I thought it was gonna be like really hard to get. Well I think that's it something I'll have to check that one more better when we get home it's because it did ring it's 27 i'll throw that in the bag and just make sure that was it that might not have been it it wasn't it <laughs> it was probably just a round rock This is more of what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be hard. Oh, there we go. We got it this time for sure. And it is a dime. I think that's our first dime. So the other thing was just a rock probably. Just happened to look like a dime. Yeah, I forgot to take my medication today before I left. Ugh. So I'm probably going to have to call it short today. Even though it's a long walk back. But she has these little pictures of whales, crabs, fish, uh, and are areas. And it's a uh, Laguna Ocean Foundation. They really care about the ocean here in Laguna Beach. A lot of artsy people, a lot of art and stuff here. Like save the trees kind of people. But I mean, they're not like that. I don't mean it bad like that. Uh, it's not bad, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. 
Anyways, we're gonna head back. And heading back, I'm just gonna take the shoreline. And I haven't checked the shoreline here. When I first got here, I checked the up, upper deck. with dry sand, basically. Beautiful down here, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. It is just amazing. I'm gonna walk over here. I mean, I don't know if you can, you probably can't tell, but this water is crystal clear. I can see in there. Seeing if I can see any fish. Oh, 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 my feet are getting wet. Water is a little bit cold. Nothing you can't get used to, but it is cold. I guess I can get my coil wet now. Sounds like a dime. As long as it doesn't sound like a penny, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a penny right now. Straight 25. I think I see it. Yep. It is a dime. Cool, let's keep going. All right, I got a little action here. 20, a 30. Oop, I think I hit it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Straight up to the gonads. <laughs> Anything in my pocket? No. <laughs> wow, that thing came in quick. Hopefully we got it this time. If not, I might have I might have waited too long. Oh we did. That's a quarter. I knew it all along. All right, we're gonna hunt this spot a little better. Got a dime right over there and quarter right here, so. All right, we're starting to get like a normal hunt here. There's 30, another quarter. And I just dug another dime off camera. Is there anything up here? Quarter. We'll take it. Back to the grain. My hole got filled in already. Fifteen. Sixteen. Should be a junk ring. Thirteen. I 
think it's still in there. Yep. We got it. Ugh. Nope, not a junk ring. Oh, but it is something. <laughs> it's got a star. <coughs> I thought it was a coin. There's nothing on the back of it. It must have went in something. I don't know what that is. Huh, we'll check it out when we get home. I'm almost back now. Took me all that way just to get that target. <laughs> okay, let's do this wrap up. Uh, it was sure beautiful down there. Long walk. I, it doesn't seem that long, but when you're going back and forth and fiddling around, it turns into a long walk. <laughs> uh, let's start with this thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little design on there. I don't know what it is. Maybe one of you guys know. It appears to be pretty old. It could be, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Then we got this little star thing. Again, I'm not sure. What the heck? There's nothing on the back. It was like it was stuck to something. You know, there might be something back there. Nope. It's nothing. And then we got three quarters. <laughs> three pennies. And four dimes. And very little trash. And I believe that's a rock. And one, two, three, four, five pieces of trash. So there wasn't hardly any targets at all down there. Uh, the the um, the area that I covered was huge. Um, so, you can't find good stuff every time you go. But, you know, there were some interesting treasures. It really was. You just never know what you're going to get. And I wasn't expecting much off that beach. I, I was going to go the other way, but I said, you know what? I'm just going to keep going this way. And I went down the whole different way I wasn't going to go. I didn't stick to my plan. Uh, but... Now that's knocked out of the way, and we'll hit the next beach, and we'll see if the next beach does good. Um, yeah, so we're back at it and going strong. I wanted to check a couple things. I'll add it on this video afterwards. Somebody said that the last giveaway, uh, there was a second page that I might have missed, and I haven't checked it yet. But I would like to do that, and, and I haven't got a hold of the winner yet either. Um... But if, they're, if that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and do another giveaway in the next video. I try to do once a month, but, you know, um, if I messed it up, we'll do another one. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one, or I'll see you in the next clip.